edition of Did You Know? So today, Hannah Johnson's going to be talking to you about the geology of Cape Cod. And on this beautiful day, I will let Hannah take it away. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm an intern at the Center of Coastal Studies this summer. And did you know Cape Cod is a geologically new landform on the North American continent? Cape Cod was formed by the retreat of an ice sheet during the last glacial period. The Earth has experienced several major cooling events, and the Wisconsin glacial episode was the most recent glacial period of the North American ice complex. The Laurentide ice sheet reached its southernmost position along Cape Cod and Long Island little more than 20,000 years ago. Glacial fingerprints can be found all over the Cape. Glacial moraines, which are thick, poorly sorted glacial deposits, mark the location where the ice front halted for an extended period of time. During periods of advance, the glacial front erodes the surface and acts as a bulldozer, pushing material, material with it, forming a ridge-like deposit. Glacial moraines can be found in the upper and mid-cape area. Awash Plains are another glacial deposit that make up the cape. Awash Plains were formed by glacial meltwater streams from a stagnant ice margin that brought sand and silt deposits to form broad sloping plains. Stagnant ice is also responsible for kettle ponds that cover the cape. Kettle ponds are formed when large chunks of ice cause a depression in the land and eventually the ice melts as the climate warms. Great Pond in Wellfleet is an example of a kettle pond on the cape. Additionally, the ice sheets would carry large boulders and during periods of melting would deposit these boulders called glacial erratics. Glacial erratics can be found across every landscape of the cape from forests to salt marshes. Joan Rock in East Ham is the largest glacial erratic on the Cape. The Cape is a continually changing landscape. Do you also know that every 15 minutes, a dump truck's worth of sand is being moved on the Cape? Due to longshore drift, which is the movement of sand and sediment by ocean currents, the sand eroded from the Cape's glacial bluffs moves its way from East Ham, Wellfleet, and Truro, all the way to Provincetown. Currently, Race Point Beach in Provincetown is growing. The dunes in Provincetown were created by this movement of sand from the erosion from glacial bluffs. These dunes used to move up to 600 feet a year due to weather and wind erosion, but now have become stabilized due to the increase of vegetation. Because of the Cape's new and ever-changing geology, you'll never know what you'll find at the beaches or the dunes, um, so come on down and explore. <laughs>